Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we got uh, some videos out on like emergency cooking and stuff like that. And uh, this is something that she actually bought me for Christmas. We haven't had a chance to get it out yet. I was wanting to show everybody what it was. Um, she ordered it from... Timu. Timu, the little app thing. It's almost like Wish or something like that. Some things are good. Some things come broken or come all to pieces. Yeah. But some, peop some things are really good. So we're hoping this one works out. And what this is, is a small, a pretty small, just like an emergency cooking situation. You know, like, like apartments, say like uh, the crap hit the fan, SHTF situation. You're in an apartment or a small house or something like that. You don't want to go outside and build a fire or anything like that. It's like a little small stove, uh, which would be good for like an apartment building and stuff. the way that I'm going to use it It'll be good for an apartment building But the way this thing is designed we'll open it and show you what it is So look, it's got all that blue stuff on it comes in a little Little bag to put it in you can put that in your backpack your bug out bag or whatever um, Hey Papa Hey Papa Let's see we have to pull that blue stuff on it Just fold it out like that, and it forms basically a little stove. It's like that. And this is the ash pan. You slide it right into the side. Well, I say you do. Just like that, slide it right in there. And it like catches, the, I don't know if you can see in there or not, but it's like the ash pan. The way this thing is designed to do is you actually. You actually build a fire in this box right here, in this little chamber right here. You put a little candle in, like a, it's almost like a rocket stove. Uh, you put your, like a little timber in there, like a little whatever you want to burn in there, and build a fire, and then you set your pan or your pot right on top of it and cook with it. But, like, here's a way that, that I'm going to use it. Okay, say so like if you're in an apartment building or a house, and you don't want nobody to know that you're actually there, like, you know, in a situation where you just don't want people to know you're there. Um, you take this thing, and I don't know if y'all remember or not, but I, I used a lot of uh, uh, the cookers, the alcohol cook burners and stuff. We'll set right in here, just like that. I'm gonna put the top on it and show you, but you set, the, set it in there like that, and you put it right back on there, which is the same exact thing. The only difference is you're burning with alcohol, you're cooking with alcohol, instead of like a, an open flame. You know, well, I mean, it's open flame, but like a wood fire, you know what I mean? Like a timber fire. So, um, let me get the, the top here. Here's the top. These tops for these jars that we bought. These come from uh, Carolina Readiness Supply. Uh, we've done a video on it. If anybody wants to go back and look at it, I can leave a link to it or whatever. Who's that? It's basically a uh, uh, oil lantern that's been modified to fit a quart jar or a pint jar. And that's basically what we have. There's a pint jar, and this is full of rubbing isopropyl ice, whatever that word is, rubbing alcohol. All right. That's exactly what it looks like white liquor, but it's just a just al rubbing alcohol is all this. And this this actually lasts pretty good. while wow, if you feed a jar, we got a couple jars full of rubbing alcohol that we just keep put up just for an emergency situation. But that's what it looks like. You could actually, if you wanted to, you could actually set that on top of there, you know? But like I was saying in the last video, it just, it doesn't sit well. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna let it set for a minute and absorb in that wick. So you gotta, this little grate right here is what the fire it goes on, but you lift that up out of the way and then you set your little alcohol burner in there. Just like that. Then put this on there. And that's basically all there is to it. You know, this is the door for it. You can close the door, whatever. When you get it to burning, but I mean, really, I don't see a point in closing the door. But anyway, then you just set your pot on there. My pot in there. And then a pot on there. Yeah. Okay. But not only we're going to show it, but we're actually going to cook. Uh, we're going to cook on it. Show by how it cooks. Uh, we'll take all this blue paper off this thing because it's brand new. We just opened it. We're having steak and shrimp tonight, yeah, so I am going to do the. 
the steak in the air fryer. Chris is going to do the shrimp on this little cooker. Yeah, we're going to try and show what happens. And then we're going to make some mac and cheese with it for over here. But we're going to have to uh, take a minute and get all this blue stuff here off of it. So we'll be right back after we get all this stuff off of it and get everything set up. Okay, guys, while he is getting the blue paper off of that, I am going to start preparing our steak and our macaroni to go with it. So, I have some Chicago steak seasoning, some garlic pepper, and then I have salt and pepper that I'm going to season our steak with. Quick. Quick. And I usually no, use a meat beater, but I have misplaced it, so I am going to just kind of poke them a little bit with a knife. And I have washed my hands, and I do have the um, air fryer ready to go. So, I'm going to okay. There is the steak, or a few pieces of it. I'm starting the macaroni while I'm over here. I'll get that to boiling. I have the six cups of water in there. So, that will be my part, and Chris will be right back with the shrimp. No, no, no. Uh, this stuff is absolutely a pain in the butt what? to get off. That blue film that's on there. Uh, we got most of it off. Uh, the plan is to uh, cook it off. What's left on it. I mean, there's still pieces here and there on there, but it's just, it's just so hard to get it off. So, basically, open that door, see there's still some in there. What I want to do, it comes like a little ash pan that goes in there like I was showing you. Slide that ash pan in there, like that. What that's for is if, uh, when you build, if you build a fire in it, you know, like, a, like you're supposed to, uh, these are things that are made, like put like little pieces of wood in there and build you a fire and then cook on it. That's what it's... Kind of like a rocket stove, but not really. A rocket stove is a little different. But I like these things right here, these cookers right here. The way these are made, the light, Mercy Light, Mercy to Cooking and stuff like that. And like I said, we got these at Carolina Readiness Supply. And we have a video out of them. Um, it's ready to go, that wick is. So basically, this grate that's in here, there's a grate right here. You just fold up out of the way. That's where your fire sets on. So what I do is, what I'm going to do is just set it over out of the way. And it's still got plenty of room. And then you can reach right in here and adjust the flame or whatever. You know, it's kind of kind of tedious. Uh, probably better with like a, one of the smaller jars, like a half pint jars or something like that. It probably work good better with one of those. But this one right here comes up close to the top. And that's kind of where I want it. So then this is the what you'd like cook your hamburgers on or anything like that. You can set your food right on it or in a pan. Uh, what, I mean, just anything. But it also helps kind of hold it out and stationary too so basically that that's that's pretty much how it goes right there so let's uh let's take this off pull that and turn it up a little bit turn this wick up just a little bit and we'll light it okay now how long it's going to take to boil water or something like that i really don't know because it's the first time really that we've used this thing uh we played around with these these little tops, his Mercy Heat tops, stuff like that. We played with those a little bit, but not a lot. So we'll see what it does. And if, worst case scenario, we can always take and just take that ash pan out of it and set it on the ground, or not on the ground, but in, on the pan itself. Let's try that right quick and see what it does. Blow that out. Let's see if there's a difference in taking the ash pan out and setting it all the way down on the. That might be a little better that way. 
because you can actually reach it now. So that, that may be better. So let's try it like that. Okay. That may, that may be better that way. So we'll set this on there. a pretty good flame out of it I mean it may get that like super duper hot and uh, we'll see I mean that is like glowing red right there now so we'll so what we're gonna do our plan is to cook shrimp we got some shrimp from Walmart uh, we plan on cooking that let's put a little water in, in case it turns that thing red A little bit of water in it. Let me grab something over this way. I'm gonna put a mile in there. We'll just put a mile in there, I reckon. Whatever fits. The whole thing fit in there. Uh, these, this little pot, and it come with a strainer. She ordered this off Timu too. This pot and strainer set, just for this. Um, so, I just dab more water in it. I'm gonna put some butter and stuff in that. I'm gonna get a, one of these sticks of butter. We're gonna live dangerously tonight. We're gonna put a half a stick in it. Just see what happens. See, it is boiling. It just takes a while. It's pre-cooked shrimp, so. It's been sitting, sitting here boiling for probably, uh, what, five, ten minutes now. I wouldn't be in no hurry. I'd start your food like an hour ahead of time because it, it takes it a minute to get hot. <laughs> but I mean, if it's all you had, it worked. Here is our food for the night, which I don't have the shrimp on my plate yet. And as you can see, Chris's steak is a little more done than mine. I really wasn't a shrimp on a boat, but if you eat my shrimp, you'd think I was. That's bubble gump shrimp. Bubble gump shrimp. Mmm. Alright guys, hit that like and subscribe button for more dumb shit. <laughs> Good job. Like and subscribe. I like and subscribe. There you go. Good job.